everybody, really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Nameless, the one thing you must recall. Still on Lance's route, although I think we're kind of nearing the end. I don't know, it's really hard to tell. I don't think there's any choices left to be made, actually. I think we've made all our choices and all we have to do is uh, ride the rest out. And then he also has two bad endings that we have to go through. We finished, <laughs> we finished the play in the last episode, the horrendous thing. Spoiler alert if you haven't already watched the last episode. But uh, Lance took our place in the play, so he kissed Red instead of me. <laughs> oh, Lance. Things you do for love. Anyway, we're still dealing with the aftermath of poor Lance's trauma. <laughs> uh, so let's finish that up and see what happens afterwards. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. I have no idea what the writer was thinking when he wrote that. Ugh. I never ever thought something like the thickest banana would come out of your mouth. <laughs> I can't believe somebody would write something like that. Uh, now I'm kind of wondering, is, is there actually some kind of gigantic banana breed out there? <laughs> oh man, I, I'll have to look that up later. Be quiet. <laughs> I really became quiet at his words. Well... I don't even know who's the owner now. Anyways, I'm glad it's over. And since I protected your lips. And marked it too. <gasps> ah! M marked My face heated up. He was definitely talking about what happened in the dressing room. I could never forget, even if I try. As soon as I remembered it, my heart started beating just as fast as it did then. I couldn't look him in the eye and lowered my head. You're red. Uh, you... don't embarrass me! I couldn't even raise my face while talking to him, but he didn't seem to care. I couldn't see his facial expression, but I was sure he was smiling. Lance rarely smiled before, but he's expressing himself a lot these days. It's good that he's smiling often. Except, I kind of hate that he smiles every time he teases me. Sure enough, I heard him laugh quietly. Is it that fun to tease me? Of course. It's fun because you're cute. It's getting worse. I don't think my face could get any redder, but he keeps on embarrassing me. I've never heard him say the word cute before. I still couldn't raise my head, but Lance continued. You. I mean, Ari. What? I was so surprised, I raised my face and looked at Lance. He spoke differently now. Did... Did you just say Airy? Airy. You're so cute. Lance smiled and said, I've never seen him smile so comfortably before. It's a slightly bigger smile than his first tiny smile. <laughs> he now spoke comfortably to me. If Red had taken it first, I would have regretted it for the rest of my life. I got it first, so I won. Whatever. Do you think I'm some game prize? I would never. His eyes were serious. I don't envy Red now. Of course he has a lot of people around him, and he has a strong personality. He may be one of a kind in this world, and I may be too common compared to him, but... You are my owner. Since you and I make memories together, since you make me special, I can be happier than Red, heroine. Right? I'll be better for you than Red. I'll be your prince. Lance said that and made the sweetest smile. On his face, I saw the most beautiful smile in the world. My heart started to pound again for the hundredth time today. Ah. <sighs> Lance no longer trembled with worry. I saw something light up on Lance's face, something I never saw before. My feelings that I wanted Lance to know he was already feeling them too. At that thought, my heart swelled up. Lance looked at me with eyes calm like a murmuring stream. I may not be more special than Red, but there's one thing I can beat him at. The fact that I've looked over you the longest. The face you make when you're sad, when you're happy, they're all here. Lance pointed at his head. They're all recorded in here, so for that, I can beat Red at that. <laughs> I smiled at what Lance said. He says he's no longer jealous of Red, but I can tell he's still conscious of him. 
It was cute to see him compare care and memories to decide who wins or loses. Why? Nothing. As soon as I smiled, Lance asked. I thought he liked being the one to talk, but he must have been paying attention to me. You're stupid. Me? Yeah. Lance looked at me, confused. Well, turnabout's fair play, you're the one always calling me idiot, so it's my turn to call you idiot. From the start, you guys had no reason to fight. Red and you. Lance quietly listened to what I had to say. Personalities and how special you are. There aren't any standards to judge those with. It's not something you can win or lose over. Red is a special doll that's unique in this world. I know exactly what the doll maker had in mind when he made Red. But... I know for sure that the Maker gave you a lovely heart when he made you too. A heart that lets you get along with your owner, no matter what kind of clothes or style the owner offers you. You'll always be happy with the owner and be loved by your owner. He must have given you such a kind heart. Think of all the time you spent with me. You stood where I put you with the clothes I dressed you in, accepting all of my mistakes like that, you stood there, didn't you? Your heart that accepted everything is wonderful and precious. You are precious to me. I never considered anyone to be more special. Okay. Lance nodded slightly. A lovely heart. You would say something like that. Lance closed his eyes. He was thinking about what I said. All right. Your phone is ringing? I look at Lance's pocket where the phone kept ringing. Come to think of it, there was something else Lance had to do. It was probably a call about his conducting duties. <laughs> An intruder. Shouldn't you get going? You just played hooky for several hours. I had to help the player and smoothly to make sure the festival is a success, so I had no choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll go home after looking around a bit more, so you go ahead. Hey. I was about to get up when Lance stopped me. Yeah? Look around where? Well, Tay's Cafe and Yonho's fortune-telling tent. I think I heard Yuri's playing a gig, so I might go there too. <laughs> hmm. So that cafe that calls you Miss and Mrs. And to that concert with that crazy teacher as the drummer. Lance is very, very jealous. I actually quite like jealous guys, though. <laughs> Lance summarized the festival with very cynical words. I'll be calling you, so make sure you take it. Oh yeah, but I might not hear the phone ring if it's too loud. There were a lot of people, so the sound might get buried. Even Soy's voice was buried, so I might not hear the phone ring. If you miss my calls, I'll find you again, and... Huh? Find you again, and leave my mark. W what? My face turned bright red. L Lance, what are you saying? Are you some kind of animal marking your territory? Then, see you later. Lance smiled triumphantly and headed to the door. Mar mark I was left alone on the rooftop to stare blankly at the sky. I have to carry the phone in my hand the whole time. <laughs> the festival ended well. I wrote in my diary and closed it. So many things happened today. I took out my phone and checked the call records. He called me five more times after he left. It was most risky when I went to see Yuri's concert. The music was loud as it is, so I was anxious about missing Lance's call. As soon as Yuri got off the stage, Lance called and I had to leave before I could see any other concert. I guess he knew the whole schedule since he's the festival coordinator. I can't believe Almighty Lance did that. The more I thought about it, the more it made me laugh. Lance suddenly spoke to me like a friend, and his actions changed completely, too. I was so surprised. I didn't realize he'd call me that much. He's like a stalker more than a prince. But every time I see his caller ID on the phone screen, I feel butterflies in my stomach. It's a weird feeling. It's like floating on fluffy clouds. What kind of expression will he make when he says hi to me tomorrow? I hold on to my phone, 
full of my call records with Lance and Imagine. I feel happy. True friends. What? No, I don't want to be true friends. I want to be girlfriend and boyfriend. It better not be friends. Come on, we kissed. We've already gotten past friends. I feel complete now that these five dolls are together. Ah, <sighs> so pretty. Dolls from Kroby Doll are peculiar. I feel like actual people who would look like them are alive and moving somewhere in the world. I can naturally think of what kind of people you guys would be. So much like real people. Huh. Let's see what's on the internet, then. They might have new releases. It's a bit lonely to like them by myself, but... If I tell Soy or Shinbi, they might not like me. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm not bothering anyone, and it's only me who likes them. But I hope there someday comes a day when I can tell them. We are just being self-conscious. It would be silly of someone not to like you just because you like dolls. As always, I started the day with Tay's pretty and delicious breakfast. Lance went to school as he always did. I almost felt upset for not being able to see his face, but I couldn't help but laugh at his text. He woke up much earlier and sent me a bunch of texts teasing me. Especially since yesterday, he kept on teasing me for being slow, so I replied, Why don't you just do your job as the discipline guide? Okay, now we have to read the texts. Let's see, phone... Let's see how many texts he gave me. I'll go to the academy first. See you later. Barely got here on time. Can't trust Yuri's limo anymore. Don't get in it next time. Why don't you take the bus with me early in the morning? Thanks for asking, but no. <laughs> it's very late, and your lights are still on. Isn't it better to go to bed early? Oh my god, you stalker! Alright, I'll sleep now. You didn't know that I was watching you. So slow as usual. I am not slow. Oh, Airy. <laughs> All right. Good night. Girls who sleep in tend to be slow. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll be going first. Make sure you aren't late today, miss. Just focus on your discipline guy duties. <laughs> Someone who touches her smartphone while eating might not grow up very well. I saw an internet article that said that. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't touch it when I'm eating. Wow. Tay, this omelet looks so good. I chewed on the eggs and said, Where are you texting Lance? Yeah. People. I mean, dolls change. Huh? What do you mean? I'm saying, Lance really changed. After he came to life, and especially being with you changed him a lot. Oh yeah, he's changed a lot in such a short amount of time. Lance is really... It's good he changed for the better, right? Yeah. Tay must have noticed. I mean, he did change quite a lot, so it was noticeable. I'm glad. Tay smiled softly. Oh, Tay's just... He's gonna watch over me in all the routes, isn't he? But don't worry, Tay, you're next because you've got the most votes. But it's going to be sad dating the other guys after dating him because he's going to keep watching over me, even though we're not together anymore. It's, uh, these games are hard for me sometimes. I know it's silly, but it is. I always felt thankful toward that smile for comforting me. I'm glad you look happy too. Oh yeah, thanks. It bothered me for some reason, the way he smiled and said he's glad I look happy. But I tilted my head once and just said thanks. Oh, Are Tay and I, like, meant to be together? Is Tay my ukyo in this game? <laughs> the phone rang again. Oh, Lance replied. I smiled and checked my phone. I'm bored. If you say that one more time, it'll be your 45th. What happens if I say it a hundred times? Will I choke on it? You have 55 left then. Until you die, I mean. It was 10 days after the festival ended, but everyone was still caught up in it. A lot of students were confessing to feeling lifeless due to the aftermath of the festival. Oh, come to think of it. Exams are coming soon again. Oh, should be. Don't ever say that. That word is taboo from now on. That's right. What's facing us after the festival is the nightmare we called finals. Exams. Festival, and then exams again. 
It was like riding a roller coaster. I guess the people in power want to gift us with a thrilling life. The person who made this schedule must be a sadistic perv. That's right. Well, let's really make a proper study group this time. <laughs> let's try once again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Again? The members were blah last time. It was Yan Ho, me, and Shinbi. All three of us couldn't solve the first question, so we went home after a cup of tea. Oh, right. The last time Soi made the study group, I didn't go because of the play rehearsal. We did have a fun time chatting. And then, I mercifully forgave Lance for backing out on the study group for your love business. I'll make sure I'm repaid for that this time. Huh? What do you mean? You don't have to know. I will share Lance's magic notes. Ari, you talk to Lance today and ask him to join the study group after school. He'll still be standing in front of the gate as the discipline guide. You can't say no. Oh, well, okay, fine. Now that the play is finished, I felt it'd be good for us to study together, so I nodded. So I picked up my smartphone to contact Lance when I felt a strange gaze coming from the side. I looked up and saw Soy squinting her eyes at me. Oh my, she's not even embarrassed anymore. They must have gotten closer. <laughs> oh, I smell something. I had no idea what both of them were talking about. Slow. I sighed and texted Lance. How cute. Let's go to Banjul after school and study for the finals. But you didn't tell him that other people are going to be here. Oh well. Let's study for the finals at Banjul after school. After I sent the text, a few seconds later I got a reply. Wow, as fast as lightning. I knew there was something between them. Alright, sounds good. I hope he doesn't think we're going alone. Lance will be there. Good, alright. Now let's ask the chick. The chick left earlier. Oh, huh? He has club activities. But the festival is over. He was so good at fortune telling. He's on a business trip right now. What? Yan Ho must have really made it. Oh well, then it will be the four of us. If you break your promise this time, I'll make you pay twice more, Lance. <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with Lance? He's good at studying, and... You got better grades than me on the midterm. I'll beat you this time. That won't be so easy. Lance will probably tutor her in private. B what? P private tutor? Oh! So I started to go mad at something I never even heard about. Ugh. Even when I'm in between the two, I had no clue what they were talking about. Thankfully, I got another text from Lance. <laughs> You're not spacing out again, are you? So what if I am? Teasing me again for being slow again. I don't know what about me was so slow. Oh god, Ari. The study group consisted of me, Soy, Shinbi, and Lance. Soy's dream of studying with Lance came true. You guys are all working hard. How is it? Any good? Tay said while bringing us the cake we ordered. It was Tay's working day, so we met him at the cafe too. It feels weird having Tay give me breakfast in the morning and cake after school. This is like... being with my mom all day. I brutally ignored my half-solved textbook and told Tay. <laughs> Not at all. I feel trapped in an endless maze. <laughs> You must be stuck. Tay! Yes, Soy? Can you just sit here for five minutes? I feel like I'll ace it if I charge my cute boy energy. I wish I could help a friend get better grades, but I'm only a lowly part-time worker getting paid by the hour. Sorry. All right. He's so lying. Tay was never treated lowly since Mr. Hobbin really seemed to like him. Zion came by earlier and told us Mr. Hobbin might make Tay's second manager instead of him. The cafe's gotten famous for having cute waiters. If you search hot boy cafes on the internet, you'll find heaps of blog posts on Banjul. Thanks to that, the cafe bloomed and Mr. Hobbin and Zion were busy all the time. Oh, I feel like Tay and I are becoming more distant. Wouldn't it be more comfortable to just think you guys were distant in the first place? Ah, oh, I finished my coffee. I'll get some more. Oh no, it's fine. I'll go. 
I just finished mine anyway. Wait here. Lance took my cup and headed to the counter. But Lance left his own cup. I was confused and looked into his cup and found his coffee still full. He didn't have to lie about it. I unconsciously put my hand on my cheek. It's probably a bit red. Now I notice every single thing Lance does. Well, it's about time you were totally oblivious before. Hmm. Ugh, Soy's giving me her creepy smile again. What? 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 I can't even look at my friend. I mean, it's been a long time since I've looked at you like this, since someone's always by your side. I might even have to ask permission soon. What are you trying to say? Since when did it start? I knew you guys were close, but he was so famous for being the cold ice prince, and you were sort of clueless in that area. You both aren't the type to suddenly hit it off in flames. When did it start? Tell me, you sneaky girl. It's not what you guys think. Yet. We're... we're just closer friends, that's all. Hey, you can fool a ghost, but not me. Do close friends catch eyes during class and suddenly turn bright red? You guys don't even sit next to each other, but my god, the number of times you guys look at each other. Of course, it must all be due to someone helping in the back. Yup, yup. I saw him once in the cafeteria, and he was holding a pudding. I asked him about it because I thought he didn't like sweet things. And he said, I did not like to eat it, but I like watching her eat it. At this double attack, my face throbbed with heat. It's just so... Lovey-dovey. No! No, it's not! You know that double negatives make a positive. Anyways, I'm kind of lonely without Yon Ho here. Okay. So I stopped talking about Lance and suddenly cried out for Yan Ho. Come to think of it, I haven't talked much to the other dolls these days. Yan Ho and Red were so busy, even after the festival, that I rarely saw them. They were now officially in the club, and they always hung around with their club members. Yan Ho always brings tarot cards and mumbles every night. And Red is excited about creating a really fantastic play for the future. I'm glad he seemed to fit well with the club president. I honestly thought it'd be best to change the writer, but I didn't mention it. I was actually kind of upset that I didn't get to talk to the dolls much at home. Hey, here. Lance handed me a refilled coffee. Oh, thanks. Hey, Lance. <laughs> Don't you want to know what we're talking about? So I talked funny. Her face was weird too. I should just let it go. Were you talking about something important? Yup, yup. Something very important. Oh. You want to know, don't you? Okay. Then in return, that chocolate cake over there. No, I don't want to know. Huh? If it's something I should know, she will tell me first. Aww. How sweet and trusting of you. Lance glanced at me. Ah, uh, I lost. Soy speared a piece of cake with her fork. She then munched on it, swallowed, looked at me and said, Be happy, my friend. Happy. Why are they looking at me like that? I'm not getting married. You haven't done much. Lance said after looking at our textbooks. Ah. The girls in the exam both worry me. After parting with Soy and Shinbi, Lance and I walked back home. No one was in the house when we came in. The house was so noisy just a couple days ago, I couldn't get used to the silence. What's wrong? Huh? Oh, just... Nah, it's nothing. I just thought the house was so quiet. Everyone's so busy now, so they come home late and go to bed right away since they're tired. I feel like I haven't talked to them in a while. Um, I'm just a bit upset. Upset. Lance approached me, step by step. Wait, what is this? W wait I was slowly backing away, and now my back hit the wall. I can't run any further. He's not... not... He was so close, I could feel him breathe. Then he calmly spoke. Shall we review what we learned in math class today? You'll be able to focus then. Huh? 
And before, I thought we were going to the cafe by ourselves, but your friends were there. I knew it! She should have said that in her message! Poor Lance. Oh, Aria, you're so negligent. Huh? I never told you we'd be alone. You should have told me for sure. I felt cheated. But it's fine, since we're alone in the house now. So, shall we review? You didn't focus at the cafe, right? Lance looked at me with strict eyes. I... I thought we were done studying. He grinned at what I said. He was smiling, but I had goosebumps for some reason. It was... scary, like the smile Soy makes when she sees Tay. I saw you be lazy today. I'll show you what happens when you don't focus while studying. Oh, that smile, it is creepy. Phew. After his special private tutor session, I laid flat on the bed. Lance is the devil. He told me he would teach me, so I had no idea he would suddenly change like that. Ugh. The thought made me feel embarrassed again. Thanks to that, I definitely memorized the theorems. I mumbled with my face still burning red. Whatever I don't know, I'm going to write my diary before I fall asleep. I got up and was about to open my diary when I heard a knock. Yeah, come in. Are you going to bed? The door opened and Lance entered. You... you... what are you doing here? I looked at Lance while still trembling in fear from his private tutor session. I finished way more than I had planned to do today. I made a cup of tea for you. Huh? Lance handed me the mug he had in his hand. The cup was steaming. I smelled a familiar scent. This is... Lemon tea. I saw them selling the lemon tea syrup at the cafe, so I bought a bottle. Oh, you did. Thanks. I gladly took the cup of tea. I felt my heart melt at the unexpected kindness. Oh, why does he look sad right now? Huh? Lance is quiet. I looked up at Lance after sipping the lemon tea, but he was staring at something. What is he looking at? The doll... Oh, don't turn back into a doll. I followed his gaze and saw the doll standing. Can I see them for a second? Of course. Lance went over to the dolls. I wondered what he would think while looking at them. What are you thinking? I was thinking about my maker. I hope he's not thinking about smashing Red's doll. And? And? It's nothing. He didn't say. He seemed to hesitate to say something. Oh, right. He turned his head toward me again and said, So, you don't buy doll clothes or shoes anymore? Huh? Oh! I wasn't able to care for them as much because I was busy with you guys. I was thinking of going to the Crowby doll showroom next week anyways. I went online yesterday and saw that they released new shoes. I went to buy a new pair for Lance. Oh, I mean, the doll Lance. I see. I actually don't feel so bad. <laughs> it's so weird you saying that. It was a strange thing to see the doll's actual body over there, and Lance alive and well standing in front of me. Hey, Lance. Yes? If I tell Soy and Shimpy I like ball joint dolls, they won't like it, right? It was something I always worried about by myself, and I was telling Lance about it. I don't know. You're friends. You're talking about that hyper-class president and the tall model, right? Lance thought for a moment. I don't think they'll mind. R really My heart began to beat fast at Lance's response. They're not your friends if they don't like you for that. According to what I see, they both really like you, so I don't think they'll really care. Uh, that's how you feel? How... Because I'm always watching what's around you. Watching around me? L like... Definitely a stalker. But I felt oddly comforted by what Lance said. Should I really tell them? I started to wonder. I know you had a tough time not being able to tell your friends. You always used to come home, sit in front of the dolls, and tell us everything. Oh... Kinda think of it, I did. Every time I felt troubled by something, I told my honest feelings to the dolls. 
My secret hobby I couldn't tell anyone about would have been one of those troubles. It's okay to tell them. No, I think it'd actually be better for you to tell them fast. Even if they don't like you after you've told them. I'm here. I'll be by your side. Lance! That sounds like he knows he's gonna disappear soon or something. I don't like it. I was thankful for what he said. Of course, I hope that never happens, though. Thanks. Lance, I feel much better now. But your face is red. Do you have a fever? Oh, now Lance is the clueless one. Come on, guys. Oh, no, it's nothing. Stay still. Lance lowered himself and raised my bangs with his hand. Ah! Shall we continue where we left off during the private tutor session earlier? Mm hmm. Don't talk like Yuri. Uh, did our study turn into a makeout session? Yuri, hmm. You don't seem to have a fever. It's strange. But why are you red? Strange. If he leans any closer to me, I'm seriously going to get sick from all the heat. I'll, I'll be fine after I sleep. I ended up saying something weird. So if I really continue on like this, I'll go mad. Alright, if you say so, then fine. I relaxed as soon as Lance nodded and said alright. But then... Surprise kiss? Uh? Lance suddenly leaned very close to me. He... He's not... I closed my eyes tight, afraid his face might come closer. Go to bed early since you studied hard today. I no longer felt Lance's warmth. When I opened my eyes, all I could see was his back. He was leaving the room. I felt a bit empty. I think he played me again. <laughs> it's your own fault, Ari. You need to take initiative sometimes, you know. Oh man, is she ser seriously still clueless or resisting after all this? It, uh, it's crazy. There's no excuse for it anymore at all. After what they've been through so far. Just give in to the lovey doveyness. Give in! <laughs> Alright, well, maybe the next episode will be the last one. I don't know. Like I said, there's no more choices to be made. I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs>